What's going on guys, Saha Man back and we're gonna be doing a video today. I'm at Galleria Mall. Hopefully you guys can see that in the background. Um, I'm at the Galleria Mall. They opened a brand new FYE here. So I definitely wanna come in, check it out, check out the horror merch, see what they have. I'll also go to Hot Topic, see if they have any horror stuff. I was gonna go to Cotton On because this is where I got this Freddy shirt. I, if you guys haven't watched my Cotton On horror video where I picked up a bunch of horror shirts from Cotton On. Um, I think they open at 11 though. So I, I have, I'm on a time crunch here, so I'm not able to record in there, see if they got any different horror shirts but I will be stopping by the new FYE here. That's the main reason why I'm here. And then also I'll go to Hot Topic to see if they have any horror stuff. So let's head in. As you can see, the mall is still closed. They should be opening in less than, I wanna say like less than five minutes. I'm not sure exactly where the new FYE is, uh, is located. I don't know. Oh, they got some new stores in here. I haven't really been to the Galleria Mall in quite a while. I know my, my buddy told me it was downstairs. Um, Carlos, if you're watching this, you were actually the one who, there it is right there. I can see the sign, let me see. FYE, right there. I'm curious to see how big this store is gonna be because the one in Fullerton I used to go to all the time closed. See, they're opening up right there. And that's where I used to go all the time. Wait, that's not it? What the, it's over here. Whoa, they got their Halloween setups. Check it out, man. Oh, look at that horror section. Hey, this is actually pretty big. Look at that. <laughs> I really like, oh, they got the Halloween. I wonder if the blue, uh, 4K is out already, but here it is. Man, this guy is slacking and opening up. Everyone else is opening up. It's a little after 10 o'clock. He's just standing there in the back by the register. Come on, dude, open this place up. All right, it's about 15 after and the guy's finally opening up the shop. Man, I was hoping they would have the Pennywise one of these. This one's an FYE exclusive. I don't, I, usually you can find these at Walmart. I don't know what makes this an exclusive, if it's even sold in stores or the fact that it's bloody. Not 100% sure. They got some Jason masks though. Annabelle, there's that one there from the Silence of the Lambs. Um, I was hoping they'd have the Super 7 Pennywise figures too. There's actually, there's actually not a whole lot of stuff in here as far as like horror merchandise goes. Oh, they got some socks here. Want some boxes of your favorite horror characters. And then here's uh, some of their shirts. I do like the Invisible Man one. I, I remember seeing these at the original uh, FYE I used to go to. The Halloween, the Michael Myers one over there with the Katana sword is pretty cool. But this is some of their shirts that they have. None of them here really interest me. That one's cool. Oh, the Leatherface one's pretty cool too. Look at the Halloween one. Michael Myers holding his head as a balloon. The Ghostbuster shirt glows in the dark. That's pretty awesome. Night of the Living Dreads. Rob's the zombie. Wasn't that the tour they did with Korn? Not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, these are their shirt selections. Oh, they got a Sam one over here. There it is right there. That's it. Let's see what else we can find that's horror related. Revelations. This is some of the pops that they have for you, exclusive stuff, some pins. This is all Masters of the Universe. Uh, here's some of the socks. Yeah, there's there's actually not a whole lot of horror stuff here like I was hoping. I mean, we still gotta look at the um, the movies too because I wanna see if there, there is any exclusive like Blu-rays or Steelbooks. Some of the prints, this is like the Marvel, Star Wars area. It's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, keep on cruising down this way. That's Birds of Prey, Suicide Squad. Fleece, this is a pretty cool poster. Socks. I got the, oh, here we go. Now we're entering the figure section. See, here's the Super 7 stuff. You got the monsters there. I was hoping I would find a, um, again, like I said, it's the Pennywise ones, but maybe they haven't hit here or maybe they're sold out, not too sure. They're the Chucky ones. I've already seen these in the Army of Darkness. These are actually really cool. Well, not Back to the Future. I got the DC Multiverse, the other yeah, Jaws here. John Wick. There's anime stuff. Any, let's see if we can find any like horror pops. God, it's been so long, oh, look at that. They live. That's pretty awesome. I want to see if I can find um, maybe hopefully some kind of like a 
a horror pop that I can leave with. Lots of FYE exclusives here though. Oh, I think this is my first time seeing this one. That King Deadpool is pretty cool too. Oh, they got some sodas here. These are the uh, wrestling ones. That's pretty cool. What are the prices on them here? We don't say. Um, let's see, let's see. No, they got a lot of they live. I wonder if there's like a chase hidden in here somewhere. That'd be pretty awesome if they had one. Let's see what we got over here. Is there's a pretty good selection of pops, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't know if there's anything that I really want to get. Let's see, come this way. No. I'm not gonna lie, I was honestly expecting them to have like <laughs> like a bunch of of um, Halloween stuff or horror related items and they don't. Oh look, they have the Super 7 TMNT figures. Cthulhu, this is awesome. That's an awesome piece right there. NECA, Masters. That's pretty awesome. Vlad from Bram Stoker's. Make sure you check the sides too. We got uh, another one here, John Nenda from They Live. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if they put the chases back here or they do like they did at the other FY used to go to and they put them like in the um, in the front. Kid and play. All right, that FYE was not the best. Um, they had like no Blu-ray or DVD section. So I didn't find anything horror in there, but let's try a Hot Topic real quick. I'm not gonna fail. We're gonna try to find some horror merch here. Jeez, I forgot there's a Pure Blades here and they got horror stuff. But when all else fails, guys, you already know, we gotta go to Hot Topic. Now it's been a long time since I've been to this Hot Topic. So hopefully they have some good stuff in here. Dude, they have like no pops here. The pop section is like really small and there's no horror items here. Like where's all the, like where's all the Halloween stuff at? It seems like, this is the second Hot Topic that I've seen that's like this. It seems like they're getting smaller or like their selection of stuff is just getting like really limited. Like this is only Halloween stuff I can find here. Um, oh, that's disappointing, man. All right, let's get out of here. That's a fail. Let's try to go to, uh, let's look, I can spot some horror stuff already over there. So we're gonna go to Pure Blades. I do see some horror stuff at the window. Make sure you guys scan through the shirts in here too, because you can find some really cool shirts. I love that Batman right there. That is so awesome. But let's look at the front of the store because they do, oh look, they have the carnage here. Um, they do, have, look at that. So this is like trick or treat studio stuff that they have. They have the quarter scale Michael. Look, they have the Halloween 2 Mezco figure. I want to go look at that. That thing looks awesome. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, they got Donnie here too. Nice seeing him. So they got Raph and Donnie. The Kickstarter. Well, I don't know if this is Kickstarter, but it's Trick or Treat Studios. The uh, Chucky there. All right, let's head inside. There's some of the turtle stuff that they do have. And then right here, there's the Michael Myers right there. Mega with sound effects. It's probably expensive here though. It'll probably be like over a hundred. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Probably gonna be pricey here though. Yeah, here's some of the collectibles that they do have. It. These you can buy them separately too. That's pretty cool. They give you that option. Not a whole lot going on. Some NECA stuff. The Crow. Back to the Future. Oh, I freaking love that. And I love the display here on all the diamond, the diamond figures. Look at all these. These are the PVC statues. Jeez. Look at them. Oh, they got some hot toys. This is by Diamond right here. That is cool. What is up with that? Gold Marvel money? Hot toys. Diamond. Damn, it's so nice. That is so cool. Oh, they got Leatherface at the bottom. I do need that one. Some chases. These are crazy, these are by Diamond. Look at these down here. Jeez. Oh man. All right, 
box lunch didn't have anything, but look, cotton on is open. Oh, this is the horror shirts, guys. I'm wearing the Freddy shirt from here. Let's see what they got. Somebody told me there was a, see, I ended up getting that Halloween one right there. Um, see, someone told me about the nightmare shirt and there it is. The Exorcist one's cool. My fiance like is scared of it. So I can't, I can't get that one. Bro, is this it? This is all they have in the horror shirts. This is pretty cool. Check it out. So this is their stock. They don't have the Freddy one that I'm wearing. Um, not, not as much as uh, the previous one I went to. I wanted to see if there was a shirt I wanted to get. But um, yeah, it's still pretty cool to see. Yeah, see, here's the hoodies that they have. Gremlins. Gremlins. Us. Halloween. Happy Death Day, Halloween. All right, it doesn't look like there's anything new. Oh, geez. I freaking found a shirt that I want. This is Night of Living Dead, size large. All right, I think I'm gonna get this. This is pretty cool. I need me an old school Night of the Living Dead t-shirt. This is probably gonna be it right here. That's it right there, look at that. That is so freaking awesome. So out of all the stores at the mall that I went to, which I'm, I'm surprised I don't have a lot of horror stuff, I found one item. That's all I got is one item. I think I have a Spirit Halloween bag. Is there a Spirit Halloween in here? All right, guys. So after all those horror stores, not horror stores, but stores that I went to trying to find horror stuff, um, the only thing I did pick up was this shirt from Pacific Sunwear, which I thought is so freaking awesome. It's a Night of the Living Dead. The original Night of the Living Dead it says they won't stay dead, and it's like in color. This is just freaking awesome. I'll show you some of the images that they have in this tee. Oh man, it's so free. I like how they covered her butt. This is so awesome. I wish one day they did make a movie poster t-shirt of the 1990 Tom Savini Night of the Living Dead. I think that'd be really awesome. A shirt was priced at $28.80, a little bit pricey, but usually for the most part, a lot of PacSun's graphic tees are really good material. It's a little heavy and um, it's soft material and it's the vintage style. Nothing in the back, but also, also, what came in the mail today, my spiky side stepper from Spirit Halloween. Look at this guy. This is a, I got him when um, the he kept on popping in and out of spirithalloween.com. So I ended up getting him. Let me see. There's a try me button on here. Let me see if I can rip off this freaking tag. So I don't even know where you push this. Here it is. Uh-oh, I think the batteries might be dead. Or well, there's like an on and off switch on this thing. I'm not too sure, but yeah, ended up getting him my the spiky sidestepper, which is freaking cool. And then the Night of Living Dead t-shirt. So that's all I got. I wanted to make just like a horror uh, shopping day kind of thing, but I didn't really find a whole lot. And it kind of amazes me that we're in mid Halloween and um, you know, mid October. And there's not a lot of stores that are carrying a lot of Halloween merchandise, which actually really does suck. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you saw anything cool in my video and how your stores are looking with like Halloween merch. Because usually like Hot, like hot Topic amazed me. There, I've, I've been to two or three different Hot Topics in the past couple of weeks, uh, not recording, and they look very empty. Their pop sections are really small and there's not a lot of horror stuff for Halloween. Usually Hot Topic has a lot of Halloween merchandise. Um, I didn't really see anything at Box Lunch. I don't even know if I filmed that me going to box lunch, but there was nothing inside a box lunch. Um, Cotton on has a little bit of horror tees. Pacific Sunwear has a few uh, horror tees, and that's about it. I mean, Spencer has horror stuff, you know, all year round, but usually their horror stuff for Halloween comes out. You know, they put a lot of Halloween stuff, even um, um, Forever Twenty One and H and M, and I didn't really see anything in those either. I didn't record in those, but really sucks that this year there's not a lot of Halloween stuff going on. But if you guys have picked up anything recently, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Later.